in real quick and just talk about uh, how you can use pretty much any post-production software like Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Photoshop Elements, Affinity, Photop.com on, online, which is free. Because basically in digital, your images will often need some kind of polishing either to fix the, the exposure if it's a tiny bit off or fix the white balance. And you can use these same techniques in pretty much every program, the same way every car has a gas pedal on the right and the brakes in the middle. So right away, when you're looking at this particular image, you should think, oh, it's a little dark and it looks a little blue. Because remember, if you shoot anything that's in full shade, it's basically just being illuminated by the blue sky. So it's giving a blue color cast to everything. So if you come up to uh, the adjustment layers and add a levels adjustment layer, see these eyedroppers right here? That's for setting the blacks. This middle one is the gray eyedropper for removing color cast. And then here's for setting the white point. Now look at this histogram. Tons of dark tones, right? No white tones and no highlights all the way to right here. So we can tell already that this is definitely an underexposed image by at least a stop. The first thing though, I want to create, I want to, um, I want to fix this blue color cast. So I'm going to grab that gray point eyedropper and I'm going to click on what should be um, like a neutral gray. And, and I don't know that this is a gray banister rail, but I know that essentially the tone of it should probably be fairly neutral. So I'm going to try to click. And that looks like more of what the scene probably looked like. Like pumpkins are typically orange, but our eyes adjust for it. So now look how blue that looks. Now sometimes if it's an extensive color cast, the correction will go too far the other way, like it might make it too orange if it was super blue, and that's sometimes a bit of an issue. And now let's uh, work on making it just a little brighter. So I'll grab that white point and just drag it over just a touch, and then drag the midpoint and pull that up so that it looks brighter. Maybe now, because I have no rich blacks, I'd pull in the, the black point just a touch. Now toggle that on and off, so that's before underexposed, it's too dark, and it has a strong blue color cast. And this is correcting the color cast and adjusting the exposure. Now granted, all of this should be done in camera, right? If you're shooting in a shadowy environment, then you should change your white balance from auto to shady or cloudy. And then again, just check your light meter and make sure that you're getting a proper exposure for your scene. Hope this helps.